Ah, ah. Hello everybody, this is Dave Bigdale, learning DSLRvideo.com, and I'm kind of frustrated with Sony Vegas right now. Let me show you why. All right, before I show you Sony Vegas, just to let you know what I'm dealing with, I've got an i7 CPU, uh, 930 uh, at 2.8 gigahertz, and I've got 12 gig of RAM. Should be plenty. And I think I've got it set up, you know, correctly. I've got C drive on my operating system and my D drive is for my video. Here is my task manager. And as you can see, I'm not using too much RAM out of my 12 gig. And these are my processes and I'm gonna sort by the one that's using the most memory right now. So what I'm gonna do is I did a whole bunch of stuff with my brother-in-law on that machine shop. And I'm just gonna import one of the videos, this one right here. And I'm going to say the, so you can actually see it. Okay, I'll click open and watch up here. So basically nothing happened for that one file. And I could pull it in and it looks just fine. I could see it here and you guys can't see it, but it's also in the preview window. Okay, so one file, not a problem. Let's go with 16 files this time. So there's eight in each row. Select that. So I've got 16 selected this time. Well, let's actually to be fair, that's 16 because I already got that other one in there. All right, and I'm going to hit open. Now watch what happens at the top here. See this IO file input output surrogate, and it's a 32 bit. See how it's at 500 meg of RAM? And you'll notice that all the files came in just fine, and I can drag them on the timeline. And I can go even to the very last one in the timeline. Um, you guys can't see it that well, but there's a thing spinning right here. And everything's just fine. <clears throat> okay? So that was 16. I'm gonna shut down Vegas and I start all over again. You'll notice that the input output file input output surrogate is now gone. And I'm going to import instead of 16, I'm gonna to go to 32. So there's I need four rows. Alright, you ready to watch this? I'm going to hit Open. Now watch the input output surrogate. It'll pop up here in a second. There it is. Now it's up to close to a gig. All right. And let's see if it's done building all the thumbnails. Oh, look at this. The last three are green. And this is what happens like every single time. Once you get up to that uh, 30, 25 to 30 um, clips, it just goes to the green or black screen of death or whatever and I could pull all these into the timeline and you'll notice if you look at the preview window which is over here let me drag it so you can see this better so you'll see now, now anywhere in the timeline that I click it's all black including the green <clears throat> it seems to get to that one gig part and it just pukes let's go ahead and shut Sony Vegas down and we're gonna open up a Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. All right, I got Adobe Premiere open. It's Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. And I'm going to select 32 of these. There's one, two, three, four, down to here. So I got 32 open. And I click the open button. Let's drag this over here. <clears throat> now you can see Adobe Premiere is using about a quarter of a gig. Now let's hit the open button. It's importing the files. And you can see it's going up to 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400. And it's got everything in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, drag these onto the timeline. And let's move the preview window over. 
And you can see Adobe Premiere is, uh, yeah, let's reduce this down, it's sitting at about a gig of memory. And I'm going to hit the space bar. And you see it runs fine here, runs fine here, and on the la second to last clip, these run fine too. <clears throat> now you can see Adobe Premiere is up to 2 gig of memory, oh, yeah, that was the last clip, up to 2.5 gig, and it's still operating totally fine. So what's up with Vegas? Why the file input output surrogate, whatever that thing's called, executable, why does it have a star 32 next to it? To me, which means it's a 32-bit application and not a 64-bit application. The program says it's 64-bit. Why doesn't it handle the input um, importing of the files in 64-bit? I don't know. Um, Adobe Premiere doesn't have that 32-bit next to it, so it seems to handle it just fine. On a side note, I went back to the 32-bit Sony Vegas Pro and tried the same thing. Instead of topping out at like a gig of RAM as it was trying to bring it in, um, it would go to about 800 meg and kind of just end there and it would pretty much, it does the same crashing type thing where the clips turn either black or green. So what is up Sony? Um, please fix this because I've got a pretty beefy machine and I think I've set it up correctly. In my blog I'll put a list of all the other things that I do to set up Vegas correctly on my, um, yes, pulling my hair out. Not good. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.